All NFL training facilities will be struck. We are prepared to withhold our services however long it takes. Washington was 2-0 when a strike temporarily shut down football in 1982. Theismann was forced to lead in a different way. Just because we're on strike didn't mean that we had to stop uh, practicing. And so we would go to a local high school. He would call up the receivers and everybody and say, hey, this is where we're going to meet. He kind of orchestrated everything. To the guy's credit, I took the last game plan we had. I'd get them together and we'd all get out there. And we had like 35 guys. It was going to end. Inevitably, we knew that. But we wanted to be ready when it happened. Football resumed after the 57-day work stoppage, and the regular season was reduced to just nine games. When the season started back up, we just kept rolling. And it was because of Joe's leadership. Washington was five and one when the rival Giants came to town, and Theismann delivered one of the gutsiest performances of his career. 55 left in the third quarter. Look out! Who is that man, Byron Hunt? He came in there like a runaway dump truck that time. Nobody got a shot at him. When he him. got to the sideline, I look at him. His two front teeth, they're, they're knocked out. They're in half. He is spitting blood. He is ranting and raving. There was nothing about being hurt or anything else. 2.55 left. Here's a fake draw, a fake screen, and the pass wide open. In the fourth quarter, Joe Theismann, with front teeth knocked out, led us on a 65-yard drive. We won that game. He got a block from Theismann. He's to the five, he's to the end zone. Touchdown! I think that's when the players really started to rally around Joe as their leader, their, the catalyst that was going to take us to wherever we were going. Joe, where are you going after you take your shower? What's that? I have to go to the dentist, uh, Jack. I, that one blitz that came from the right side knocked my two front teeth out. Can, so we, can, my... we, zo can we zoom in on you? Would you mind? I don't know. You want to zoom in on him here? Bring in the camera. I'll show you. Now, there goes his TV career. He was a tough SOB. People could think they were tougher than Joe Theismann. They were not. Joe wasn't maybe the most popular guy seven days a week. I'm not going to sit and make the case he was Tom Brady, but he had the respect of him on Sunday. Theismann dominated Sundays in 1982 like he had never done before. Washington was the class of the NFC. Far side, touchdown! We really hit a groove. I mean, we really did. Like I said, we just felt like we got better and better and better and better. Then all of a sudden you get to this moment. As the Dallas Cowboys are in town for the NFC Championship against the Washington Redskins. And this town and these fans have gone Redskin wild. Everybody's screaming, we want Dallas, we want Dallas. Pounding their feet on these aluminum seats and the ground beneath, I'm getting goosebumps right now, the ground beneath my feet is shaking. I, I get this question asked often, what's the most memorable game you ever played in? Obviously people expect me to say, the Super Bowl was an incredible experience, winning the Super Bowl is nothing like it. But standing in that stadium, it's the Dallas Cowboys, truly our hated rivalry. It's a chance to go to the Super Bowl, which is a lifetime experience for anybody. And here we are ahead. And it's like, holy back. That to me is the most memorable game in my entire career. Heisman to throw. First down throw. Heisman chased. Gets away from a couple of Cowboys. Still on his feet. Ed Jones in his face. Pass complete. Heisman back to throw again. Good protection again. Pass complete again. Theismann was heading to his first Super Bowl at the age of 33. Waiting for him was the same team and coach he spurned 11 years before. We've worked harder than anybody to get here. Nobody can beat us in a team, and it's worth 70,000 and a big break. Washington trailed for three quarters in Super Bowl 17. Let's go. Goal line, goal line. I left tight wing, 70 chip on white. Ready? Here comes the diesel. Here comes the diesel. John Riggins' signature fourth quarter fourth down run 
put them ahead for good. He's got the first down to the 40. He's gone. The 35. But Riggins doesn't get that chance. He's gone. Had it not been for Theismann's heads-up play earlier in the half. We were down, um, I think we were down by four at that time. Uh, we were backed up in our own end, and uh, we called a quick hitch. Theismann batted in the air. Almost a touchdown for Kim Camper. Oh, my. I see the ball go up in the air, and I don't know how many people have experienced this, but my world went into slow motion. My feet felt like they were in cement, and it was like, I've got to get to the ball. Joe Theismann playing defensive back on his own pass. Now watch Theismann go up and knock it out of the hands of Kim Bocamper. And Bocamper said, it was my touchdown. Great play by Theismann. As it appeared, Bo Camper indeed had six. And we're sitting in the end zone, and I looked at him, and I went, that was close. Theismann's first and only pass breakup of his career set up the first Lombardi trophy of his career. For the first time since 1942, the Washington Redskins have an NFL championship. Winning a Super Bowl changes your life. People don't walk around saying, hey, remember that other team that played in the Super Bowl? They remember the people that won it. <laughs>